Got my start playing the bass guitar through punk rock music and skateboarding. Basically, we would get these VHS tapes of, uh, of skate videos back in those days, and they would make the rounds through the, you know, 10 or 15 uh, skateboarder kids that were into punk rock music. They would make the rounds through our town, and um, I think I knew pretty quickly that on top of skating, I really wanted to play music. All of my heroes were bass players, and I knew that that would maybe be the easiest way to, uh, to, to be in a band, would be to learn how to play the bass, like Dee Dee or Sid Vicious or whatever. And proficiency wasn't part of it, but it was just a way to be part of the, the punk rock scene in the movement or whatever. Uh, we had, basically, we had two bands in our whole scene. You know, the Bruisers, and uh, that was obviously big in the street punk and um, oi scene. And, uh, and then we had the Queers, who were, you know, Lookout Records band. And both of those bands were kind of getting out of town, and the awareness of them was getting out kind of more nationwide. And uh, I was also a teenage runaway, so I would help Joe Queer kind of put on these punk rock shows, like either in his barn or basement, or you know, we'd rent out a hall. And uh, the bass player for the Queers, his name was B-Face, and he had, um, his mother was not home very much, so I ended up kind of in these times where I was running away from home a lot, or getting thrown out, or whatever. I was a troubled kid or whatever, and uh, I would spend the night at B-Face's house, and we would just kind of hang out, hang out with our friends, and he would teach me how to play the bass. And I learned how to play all those early queer songs on the bass, and uh, and some of the other stuff too. That whatever that we were messing around with, he'd teach me. B Face would teach me Dead Kennedy songs and just all kinds of Black Flag songs, and um, gave me kind of a pick technique or whatever. And I just it immediately kind of snapped with me, and. Um, I don't know. I knew I wanted to. I knew I wanted to play the bass. Right away, something happened, and I, and I ended up selling my bicycle so I could put together a, a bit. Like I found a body, or I took this P bass body, and I wired pickups into it. Got a neck. It was like lime green. It was the worst looking bass you've ever seen. And so I gave up. At you know, I was probably 14, 15 years old. So I gave up my bike and all that kind of stuff for just learning how to play the bass. And, uh, and I took it pretty seriously. That bass is gone. I have no idea what happened to that bass, actually. But, uh, man, that thing was a piece of shit. But it was, uh, it was, it was mine. And it, and, and it taught me kind of, it taught me what the possibilities were with bass. Uh, and, um, yeah. That's about that.